All right, so next up is this green lake. I don't know why they would call it green. Good morning guys and welcome to another beautiful day here in Argentina. Uh, if you didn't catch the other episodes, I've been traveling around through Patagonia and uh, we've been in Argentina for a few days now, but we are in the southernmost city in Ushuaia and we just made it into the national park area called Tierra del Fuego. And uh, doing a little research on this uh, area of Chile because it's not just this park, but a lot of the southern part of Argentina is Tierra del Fuego. And basically uh, Magellan, when he was going around the Cape Horn area, he saw a ton of fires by the uh, Native American, or Native uh, people living here. And so he called it then that Tierra del Fuego. And so we're in here right now. It does kind of look like um, like that could have happened just because the bushes are, are completely dead because the wind has taken apart almost everything here because it's so flat besides this area where the mountains peak up. But in our drive yesterday, you could see there's just nothingness and then the beautiful, really cool looking water um, that comes from the glaciers and from cold water, things like that. Yesterday also in our drive down here, 14 hour drive down here, we saw penguins, uh, which was really cool going across the water on a ferry. Um, what a cool place. It's uh, labeled as the end of the world. But we're gonna go check out the uh, park right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. We're enjoying every single second of this. It is absolutely amazing to be here. We feel so blessed yet again. But let's go check out the park. So our first stop is the post office, and this is the post office in this national park, but it is the post office at the end of the world, they say. Just a small little hut, and you can send your mail to anywhere in the world. Pretty, pretty cool. So we've walked for maybe five minutes and already I think this is the coolest national park that I've ever been to. Just because it's at the end of the world. It's so cool. Amazing. Also, I feel like it's uh, permanently fall down here. The temperature feels like fall in northern the United States. And it's just cool and refreshing and just perfect for hiking and taking pictures and the leaves are all over, it just looks like fall. I don't know, I don't know, it's pretty. So if you've never had this kind of a drink, it's guara, guaranana, guaranana. It is very, very good. We had it with our friends from Brazil a couple of weeks ago, and uh, ever since then I've wanted it again. It's like a cherry soda that I've never had before. Delicious. It even says Antarctica on it. Mm. Anyways, we're in a we're in the other part of um, the history section of the park and there's a little bar area and place to get a drink. But there's also information. There's uh, some information when you walk into the tourist uh, center on the right, but also behind the bar, there is more of a historical part to it. So, we're checking it out right now. Mm, can't get over the soda though. So 
I'm doing a little history right now and figuring out the uh, past of this area of Argentina. And the native people were called Yamanas. And um, basically the thing that stands out to me is they don't have any clothes on. They look like they're from like northern Brazil or somewhere in a warm climate because they literally wear nothing. And I'm reading to find out that they wore some skin and put the like skin from animals and basically put that hide over them in the winter time to block the wind. But otherwise they're on canoes and fishing and they have no clothes on either. So when people discovered this area in the 1600s, um, the discoverers basically called them idiots, stupid, um, lacking of any faith, and basically just anything bad that you could say, they said about them. Um, because they weren't educated, they had no clothes, and were living here, and they basically were called animals. Because, well, they were living off the land, and I mean, nobody is around here, so I guess I can understand that. But kind of a crazy little uh, piece of history, and really sad, too, that they were completely destroyed. Um, because other people wanted the land, and I mean, same story goes for almost all Native Americans. Uh, North or South America um, just destroyed by uh, other people that had more money and had more weapons and things like that. Um, but really interesting that they were all basically nude when it's... I have a jacket on it's the middle of summer right now. I can't imagine that with nothing. It's crazy. Anyway, they really have a cool history though. Um, if you want to check out more, I'll link some in the description below. Um, just because I think it's fascinating, I've learned a ton here and I can't explain it all in just a quick little video. We have a lot more to do. But if you want to check out the history of them, check the link below. Let's continue. Alright, so next stop is this green lake. I don't know why they would call it green. <laughs> it looks very green. But kind of cool because at almost every stop, and there are maybe 10 different little hikes, they're simple hikes. You just get out, hike for maybe five minutes, jump back in the car, see something else that's new. I really like it. We also learned that this park um, was donated by a guy, a guy named Moreno and uh, he gave this part of the park so that we can enjoy it and go hike around and stuff. So, kind of neat. Anyways, here's the water. I think we found it, 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 I think we found it. It's a black lake! Look! So this lake I think is the most normal lake that I've seen because almost all of our lakes in northern uh, United States and particularly in Wisconsin are black. This is Black Lake. It is black. He made this. All right, so we just headed out after an amazing dinner by Getzinger. He made amazing food as always. But we are headed to the port to check out the sunset and the uh, awesome boats that are along the docks here. But look behind me, this is Ush Ushuaia. And all the mountains are all around, which makes it a really, really cool little town. It really is a beautiful place to come visit. I wouldn't mind living here, at least says uh, it's a little too cold, but I would not mind it at all. It, uh, it's filled with places to go hiking, um, outdoorsy little town, and it's got a little port here. Tomorrow's going to be awesome though, but I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. Let's check out this port.
right guys, we've explored a ton of places today. Most importantly, the national park, Tierra del Fuego. Now, Tierra del Fuego is a huge section of where we're at in the southernmost part of Argentina. But also, it's that national park. And if you ever get a chance to come, please do come. It really is a beautiful place. Um, it was around $12 or so for us to enter, um, which was worth it. The small little hikes, you can go on about 10 different small little hikes, which is really cool. Um, Ushua is a really cool little town, and the closest little town, apparently 90% of the people uh, go through this little town to get to Antarctica. So it's kind of a gateway for that as well, and the closest little town to Antarctica, which is pretty awesome. But we're just exploring the uh, little ports right now. Uh, downtown is right over here and the little port and all of the cool boats are right over here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode though. Tomorrow we have an awesome day of going on a boat and exploring a couple of different places. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Tomorrow is going to be also another awesome adventure. So we'll see you guys then. But for now, ciao. So I'm doing a little research right now and figuring out the history of these uh, native people to this area. They were called uh, Yaman, Yamanas. They were called, so I'm doing a little